together we pray. Filled by the Lord with the spirit of understanding, blessed Bernard ministered streams of clear teaching to the people of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My sisters and my brothers, the God who has welcomed us here is a God indeed rich in his loving mercy for us, which is why we took a moment to humbly acknowledge before him and before each other that we are sinners in need of his mercy. So we remember this as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. He was sent to heal the contrite of heart. The Lord have mercy. The Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. The Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who made the abbot, St. Bernard of Clairvaux, a man consumed with zeal for your house and the light shining and burning in your church. Grant through his intercession that we may be on fire with the same spirit and walk always as children of light. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name, profane among the nations in whose midst you have profaned it. Thus the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when in their sight I prove my holiness through you. For I will take you away from among the nations, gather you from all the foreign lands, and bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities, and from all your idols I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart and, a, and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes, careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your ancestors. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will pour out clean water on you and wash away all your sins. I will pour out clean water on you and wash away all your sins. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustaining me. I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall return to you. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. For you are not pleased with sacrifices. Shall I offer a bird offering you would not accept it? My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humble, O God, you will not spare. I will pour clean water on you and wash away all your sins. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. 
If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus again in reply spoke to the chief priests and the elders of the people in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. The second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet. My calves and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready. Come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away. One of his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burnt their city. Then the king said to his servants, the feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out therefore into the main roads and invite to the feast whoever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guests, he saw a man there, not dressed in wedding garments. He said to him, my friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited, but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Certainly in the days of Jesus, uh, if you want dress for the wedding for heaven, you may be in trouble. I love though what uh, our book of the prophet Ezekiel teaches us today to those who did get in trouble, that is the Jews while they were in Egypt and what happened there. Ezekiel reveals a message from God to them. Those sinners, those chosen people who were exiled into Egypt and there for years were in slavery, lived in slavery because they dared to turn their backs on God. But look at what he's saying today through the book of the prophet Ezekiel to those who are in prison who are slaves in Egypt. He says to them, Thus says the Lord, I will prove the holiness of my great name, profaned among the nations. And he certainly speaks about that promised land, you know. And then he says, I will then sprinkle clean water upon you. He's talking to those, his chosen people who have turned their backs. But look at the amazing opportunity that they have to once again follow God, his words, his commands, and his amazing love. I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will cleanse you. I will give you a new heart 
and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live. Wow! Those are powerful words, huh? To people who have turned their backs to God, His chosen people. Interesting that what God is saying to them is not so much an exterior journey. It's more of an interior journey. The journey to the heart, where God has indeed planted Himself, especially for us chosen people through the gift of being adopted in baptism, as the church teaches. Look at what He promises us to. But the invitation is clear. The invitation is indeed, you must journey within. So much of our journeys is about the outside of us, right? We go here, we do this, we buy this, we watch this, we hear this. And yet God keeps on saying, will you please come in? I'm waiting there deep within you. Today, the church around the world celebrates the feast of St. Bernard, the patron saint of our church here. Isn't that exciting? Right here, St. Bernard of Clairvaux. Clairvaux meaning Valley of Light. And let me tell you, Bernard of Clairvaux, who was abbot of a new monastery of the, for the Cistercians, built it right in Clairvaux, Valley of Light. And what a light he was, not only to the men that he lived with, but look at how much he was called outside of the abbey to bring light into the interior heart, into the soul. His amazing teachings, and we're blessed to have him as our patron, because maybe he may be teaching us something today, that indeed our journey must be interior. I love Bernard of Clairvaux's writings. One of the things that he mentions, and especially to his brothers in the monastery, and to every group he taught outside of the monastery. Because he was called to Rome many times and taught to, to clarify that journey. He, meant, he brought back for the people of God within his monastery and outside of the monastery to rediscover what is known since the fourth, fifth century, Lexio Divina. The divine reading, especially in the scriptures. He encouraged them, he taught them. Matter of fact, I'm really proud, I thank Bernard for that too, that we were able to teach over 140 people in our parish, those involved in the faith sharing cell groups, how to do Lexio Divina. How to meditate and how to contemplate the Word of God, that amazing interior journey, and how to do it. What a richness that this gift is to us, and if you haven't yet discovered Lexio Divina, how to pray with Scripture, let me know. I'd be more than happy to teach you, or ask one of the 140 people who have learned how to do this. An amazing invitation to journey within to be in the presence of God. For the gift that Bernard brought, one of the many gifts is indeed that, to know that the Word of God is alive, that Jesus Christ is alive, waiting for us. More now than ever, this Word, this world, needs to know the Word of God. Because if we fail to know it, to read it, to meditate it, to contemplate it, to allow it to speak to us, as Bernard once said, or said many times, then we fail to know Christ. We may, it may be dangerous for us to create a Christ that may fit into our own morals and our own values, and sad to say on Judgment Day, you may face this Jesus, and it's not the one that you created. 
If we're going to come to know the real Christ, we must be able to fall in love with the Word, to, to know it, to understand it. But there's one other thing you need to know that St. Bernard of Clairvaux said, our patron saint here. He says, the people, and I like this, listen carefully now, the people who make themselves their own spiritual directors have has fools for disciples. You go, Bernie. Sometimes if we want to share our faith and we aren't, we've interpreted it in our own way. We may be giving something to others that doesn't even fit in. And how many times have I heard it? Oh, I don't have to go to church. I don't have to receive the Eucharist. Boy, are you in trouble is what I say. <laughs> to awaken them to know the, the beauty and the power of the Word, and especially of the bread of life of the Eucharist. The amazing rich sacraments we have in our faith. I'm glad I have a spiritual director. I've had that person for 29 years. My spiritual director knows more about Bob Valancourt than, than those when I, when I go to confession to other priests. <laughs> they know details of my sins. Because I'm compelled in this amazing sacrament to speak them. Otherwise, I may be slowly dying in my faith. And to live in eternity where God is not, is not good news. That's why the more we know the word alive, that's why the more we journey within and discover God dwelling there, the more we will want to let others know. If we aren't letting others know, you may be harming someone because maybe God has wanted you to bring the good news to that person. And if you aren't listening to God, then who will tell that person about Jesus Christ? Be very clear in the word today that we find in our scriptures and especially the words of St. Bernard de Clairvaux. Read about him. Read about what your patron saint here in this church can teach you. The word becomes alive when you dare discover it with others and discover the truth as our church clearly teaches it. May the word of God bring you And through the intercession of St. Bernard of Clairvaux and the intercession of Mary is Immaculate, our Heavenly Mother, whom he has written so much, especially the foundation of Mary in the writings. May she too intercede for us as we lift up to you, through your Son Jesus, and to you, Heavenly Father, the intentions we carry in our hearts and the many crosses that are found in this world. all civil and religious leaders that their manner of leadership may reflect the teaching and style of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all parents, that their love may impact their family and reveal that Jesus is truly alive in their married and family life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all educators, that they may influence their students not only by their wisdom, but also by demonstrating the compassion and patience they find in Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all caretakers, that they may share with their charges the gentleness and mercy that Jesus has revealed in his ministry, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and the dying, that they may, that they may preach the gospel of hope by cheerfully enduring their pain and suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
This Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of David Manan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Heavenly Father, we also pray for those who are being affected in many ways because of the virus. For those who are depressed. For those who are lost. For those who live in darkness. That you, Lord, may inspire us to awaken others to life into the name and the power of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And yes, Heavenly Father, we believe that you will answer us, for we pray in the precious name of your Son, Jesus the Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, you, God. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. We offer to your majesty, O Lord, the sacrament of unity and peace as we celebrate the memorial of the abbot, St. Bernard, a man outstanding in word and deed who strove to bring order and concord to your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Bernard of Clairvaux, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim, holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and Eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, 
he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we when eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink, and drink this, this cup, we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Bernard of Clairvaux, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Sage's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honor as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, peace and unity, in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with you all. And and Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life, but only say the word, my soul shall be And as we are live streaming our Mass, my friends, we have many people who are watching from their homes, and we certainly welcome you to this Mass. I invite you, my friends, who are home to pray that God will bless you with a holy spiritual communion, that you may welcome Him into your hearts. So we pray along with you, my dear friends at home, as I invite you to please repeat this prayer. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist. In the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist, I love you. I love you above all things. Above all things, and I desire, and I desire to receive you into my soul. To receive you into my soul, since I cannot. Since I cannot at this moment, at this moment receive you sacramentally. Receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually. Come at least spiritually. Into my heart. Into my heart. I embrace you. I embrace you. As if you were already there. As if you were already there. And unite myself. And unite myself. Holy to you. Holy to you. Never permit me, never permit me to be separated from you. To be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. May the food we have received, O Lord, as we honor Saint Bernard de Clairvaux, work its effects in us, so that strengthened by his example and instructed by his teaching, we may be caught up in love of your incarnate word. Lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael. Saint Michael, our Defend us, us in battle. Be our, our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Thanks. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. May the Lord in a special way tonight through the intercession of St. Bernard of Clairvaux bless especially your families. Thank you. Thank you.